Hello everybody, thank you so much for coming to this channel. My name is Elizabeth, I am a psychologist and I am new to YouTube. Since this is my very first video, I thought of sharing something personal to you, uh, some life lessons I have learned over the years. I am definite that this will be helpful to you in some or the other way. So let's begin. So the very first lesson is, reading is the best habit. Reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. Yes, reading is one of the most assured habits that will definitely make you a better person. There are an end number of benefits to reading such as uh, increased knowledge, improved memory, better communication skills, developed insight and so on. It's not that I was not aware about the importance of reading, but ever since I considered the habit seriously, I can see magical differences in the way I think, the way I talk, and in the way I respond to situations. Not saying that I am an avid reader, uh, there are only a very few number of books I have read, but the changes it brings to my life are quite significant. If you are someone who doesn't like reading at all, here is a challenge for you. Pick a book, a simple and an interesting one, fix a timing like 20 minutes a day to read and be consistent in it. You will be amazed at the beautiful habit you are developing. Now the second lesson is seek help when needed. Most of us are happy to offer help but might be too reluctant to ask for help. This is mainly because asking for help is considered to be a sign of weakness or maybe because you don't want to burden anybody or uh, maybe the thought that you can do, uh, you can sort the things out by yourself. However, psychology says that asking for help is actually a sign of a mature and resilient learner. By seeking help, we not only just receive the help most of the time, but also develops relationships, increases our productivity, improves our mental health, and also it develops a growth mindset. At this point, being a mental health professional, I should emphasize on seeking professional help when you are faced with life's challenges or uh, behaviors or thoughts or emotions that are gone out of control or when you get feelings of hopelessness, etc. Understand that there is no shame in admitting that you need therapeutic assistance. The third lesson I have for you is now is the time. If you ask me what's the worst habit a person can have, I would say it's procrastination. We often tend to put off things to the perfect time and sadly this perfect time doesn't even exist. The reasons why we procrastinate is not just about laziness but also a seek for perfectionism, poor organizational skills, lack of motivation and so on. The best way to tackle this is by breaking down the larger task into smaller tasks and by taking action on it one by one right away. This releases dopamine in the brain which makes you feel amazing and will motivate you to finish off the work. Realize that every moment is fresh and new and we don't have to wait for the perfect start. Now the fourth point is you are what you are surrounded with. I am a reflection of what I have around me. It's not just about people, but also the books I read, the social media posts I see, the people I follow on Instagram, the time I spend most on. Literally anything around us can have a great influence on us. Always find some time to assess the company you are surrounded by and the time you spend most on and analyze whether it promotes your growth or hinder your progress. Get rid of anything and everything that brings you down even if you find it a bit difficult. Now the fifth and the final one. You do you. The expression you do you simply means that you have all the right to do what's right for you. Since childhood we are often faced with the fear of being judged and we tend to please everybody around. It's quite natural and normal and nobody escapes it entirely. It's so important to prioritize us and our happiness because that is so crucial for us to become the best version of ourselves. Now here is one assignment for you. Write down five things you would have done if you had no fear of any judgment or criticism. Pick one among it and start doing it right away. 
And this brings me to the end of this video. I hope it encouraged you to take action. Please let me know if you have liked it and kindly consider subscribing to this channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching.